is the temple that your soul resides in while it's on this physical plane. In the last video, I talked about vibrating at different rates. So in this realm that we will call Earth, we vibrate at a very dense rate, a slow rate, so that we have what is called solidity of matter. Our souls, our um, life force, that vibrates at a higher rate. But for it to be able to do what it needs to do on this plane, on Earth, it needs to have a suit. So you think about your body almost like a space suit that your, that your soul uses and animates and becomes part of every cell. So it's, an, it's a living space suit, a living temple. Now, what we put into this temple makes up the temple. And we have that garbage in, garbage out. Same thing with the mind. Garbage in, garbage out. So when you're putting into your body food that is, you wouldn't really class as food, then your body cannot move and work at its optimum level. So there is a quote by Hippocrates. Let thy food be thy medicine, and thy medicine be thy food. So what you put in is what you get out. So you need to be mindful of what you eat, but also what you eat eats. So I'm not going to tell you to be a vegetarian, I'm not going to tell you to be a vegan, I'm not going to tell you to be a, um, a paleo um, person, I'm not going to tell you to be anything. What I am going to tell you is to look into what diet, what food works for you. Everyone is different and everyone needs a different type of chemical makeup or chemical food makeup for them to work optimally. No one food or no one diet is going to work for everyone. You need to find what works for you and do it. What I will say is to be mindful of what type of food that is. Is it fresh? Is it as organic as you can get it? Um, and did it come in a packet? So things that you want to avoid are things that come into a, from a packet. That's easy. You want to have the freshest, most basic food that you can. So it is the rawest that you can have. And by raw, I mean unprocessed. Someone hasn't put it into a packet. Someone hasn't sliced it up for you. Someone hasn't done something to make it easier for you. If you're going to have a carrot, make sure the carrot is a carrot. And even better, that it still has the green stalk on it so that you know that it's, it's pretty close to fresh. Your food must have a life force in it. If your food has been in a packet, you don't know how long that food has been in that packet and been on a shelf, been in some warehouse for three, four years, comes to the supermarket, sits on the shelf for another couple of months, you don't know how old that food is. Not only that, but if it's been in the packet, it is full of preservatives, it's full of salt, it's full of sugar, it's full of things that your body does not need. Yes, your body needs salt and sugar, but not in those um, amounts, um, and also in fresh um, natural sources. So look at your diet, look at what's going into your body so that you are working at an optimal level for you. Any type of food that makes a, a sugary kind of overload within your body, a glucose overload in your body, fuzzes and fuddles the brain. So the more that you can have that is fresh, organic um, and not sweet, and I know you must have something sweet, at least have some fruit and have it at its rawest natural state. If you're going to eat an apple, eat an apple. Don't have the juice of the apple. Now fluid. Your body 
is about 80% water. And that water is salt water, saline. So you need to make sure that you have enough water in your body so that you have the fluid system within your body. So you have food coming into your body so that your body can um, regenerate cells, um, move and you have the energy. But you also need to have that fluid coming through your body so that that can eliminate toxins. It goes through your body and goes through the digestive system um, and also helps to lubricate your body. So good, clean water. Good, clean, mineralized water. Because if you drink too much water, you're going to leach the minerals out of your body. So you need to replace those. You need to replace those mineral salts. So if it means just having a little tiny sprinkle of Himalayan salt in your water to give you back those mineral salts. Now, it will, if you're not used to it, taste salty. Um, but if you have, if you've ever drunk um, Evian water, you will know that it has those mineral salts in it and it does taste a little salty if you're not used to it, but your body will love you for it. If you're drinking a lot of water, remember you need to replace those mineral salts. Mm -hmm. Water, make sure that it is not chlor chlorinated and fluoridated. So fluoride and chlorine, you want to make sure that you, you get rid of those. Now chlorine is used to uh, get rid of bacteria. Too much chlorine in the water and you also have irritable bowel syndrome, you might want to look into stopping drinking most of that tap water because it could be the fact that you are drinking too much chlorine in your water and it is affecting your, your uh, digestive system. Also fluoride. Fluoride is put into the water in the guise of saying that it is good for your teeth. Um, so do a little bit of research, find out for yourself uh, what your idea is on that. We will be talking about sometimes it's worse before it gets better. If you have been putting into your body, um, let's just say crap, for a long time, your body is now trying to filter all that crap out. And in that process, you may feel like crap, okay? Keep going, keep with it, um, because you will feel better. And I will say that if you are starting on this process, don't have an all or nothing approach. Don't go, right, I'm going to be healthy, I'm going to do this, I'm going to take everything out that I don't, that's not healthy, and I'm just going to have, I'm going to do a vegan lifestyle. If you do that, you will hurt yourself, you will fall over on your face, and you will fail, unless you have an iron will. One, because you are going to be shocking your body. Two, you are going from one flip to another with a lifestyle. You're going from eating, say, let's use an example, you've had McDonald's three times a week for the last five years. You drink Coke um, or, or, or some other um, soft drink uh, regularly, right? All the time. You, you don't even know what water looks like. Um, you eat lollies, you eat chips, you, you haven't seen anything um, remotely green on your plate for five years either. You go from that to going to a vegan lifestyle where you're drinking water, you're, you're having nutrients in your body and your body goes, what the, what, what, what is this? You will fall on your face. You need to do it in slow increments. You need to give your body time to adjust. So you take something out and replace it with something healthy. Take another thing out, replace it with something healthy. You do it slowly so that your body can adjust and your body can use that to help repair itself. If you go all or nothing, your body will just, as I said, fall on its face and you will fail and you'll feel bad about yourself and you'll go, I don't even want to bother. Small baby steps. Also, if you've been unwell and unhealthy for a long time and you start to do this process, your body, as I said, is 
filtering through those toxins. So you will make yourself sick. And if you do it all or nothing style, you are going to put all those toxins into your body straight away and your body doesn't know how to handle them. So you need to do it slowly and give your body a chance to repair itself. Um, if you take lots of headache tablets, um, if you take lots of different type of painkillers, work out what it is and why you're taking all of these medications and what you need to do to stop taking those medications. Because the more medications that you take, the less you are in life force. You're fuzzy in the brain and you're not, energy isn't regulating within your body properly. Um, smoking. Now again, I'm not going to tell you what you can and can't do. Um, lastly, move your booty. You to move. In the holistic approach of mind, body and spirit, the part of the body and the mind, you need to move, okay? Because your mind becomes younger when you move your body. Studies have shown that moving your body, whether it be dancing or doing some form of exercise, makes you younger. Your mind and your body start to, to become younger. Your mind is, a, is, is plastic, as they say, and you can learn new things. But when you move your body, there is that mind-body connection that happens. And so if you take up a martial arts, or even if you take up dancing, whatever it is, going out for a walk in nature, just moving your body and getting the blood pumping and getting that, those, um, those synapses firing just helps you not only to ground and to centre, but to get to know your body. So many people sit and they are all in the mind, they're all in their head, and they have no concept of what their body is doing. And I understand this from teaching uh, myself, uh, is that when you're teaching someone to do something and you're saying, move your hand this way or move your foot this way, and people are like, I am doing it. And then they look down and realize they're not. They don't have that mind-body connection. They don't have that, that feeling of being totally in their body. And when you're moving your body, you start to get that idea that you're totally in your body. You're not just this funny little thing inside a brain. You are your hands, your feet, your liver, your spine. Everything that moves is you. And every single cell in your body is alive and awakened with the life force that is you. And you begin to see that and understand that once you start moving. So next up. In cleaning the temple, we have the spirit. I look forward to seeing you then. I'm Lady Amaris, Mary Meet, Mary Part, and Mary Meet again. Blessed be.